So Skypad just released their first skates in collaboration with X-Ray Pad and I had to order one set right away. Skypad claims that these skates are scientifically tested to provide a super smooth glide on glass pads, especially the Skypad 3.0, and that they don't produce as much sound as other skates while gaming. So let's put these claims to the test. First up let's test their friction with the digital force meter and compare them to the X-ray pad obsidian dots which have been the go-to skate on glass pads for many users since their release and also to some standard PTFE dots. The test setup is rather simple. For static friction we place the mouse on top of the Skypad 3.0, place a weight on top and measure the peak force when the mouse starts to move. Then for the dynamic friction we try to pull the mouse with a constant speed and I the force that the meter reads while in motion. Then we remove the outliers from the results and calculate the average, weigh the mouse that are tested with the weight on top and calculate their friction coefficient with the basic formula that we learned in physics class years ago. Note that the surface area of the skates or the amount of the dots doesn't affect the friction at all. I see some people say online that the dots are faster than normal skates because they have smaller surface area but that is not correct. These might appear faster because on larger skates the area where the dust and dirt can build up is larger and therefore hinder the glide that way but physics terms the area doesn't play a part. But on the results and we can see that the Obsidian Pros are around 28% higher in static friction than the Obsidian Dots and the standard PTFE Dots. Note that the static friction was basically the same on the Obsidians and the standard PTFE but there are like insane amounts of different PTFE skates in the market right now so your experiences may vary. Also, the dynamic friction was around 35% higher with the Obsidian Pros and the Obsidians and standard PTFE were basically the same in terms of dynamic friction. So in terms of speed, we can say that uh, Obsidian Pros are 30% slower than the regular Obsidians or some standard PTFE dot skates. But what about the sound? Well, I measured that as well with the decibel meter app on my phone. And while it might not be the most accurate measurement too, we got some results as well. The Obsidian Pros average around 61.8 decibels and both the Obsidian and standard PTFE dots were 64.8 decibels. So the difference is 3 decibels which is by many sources the smallest difference an untrained ear can hear. So the Obsidian Pros are definitely quieter than these other two skates and produce not as high pitched sound so the sound is also less irritating in my opinion. But yeah but the Obsidian Pros Pros are in conclusion around 30% slower skate and the claim of the quietness also holds true. And I gotta say, I really like using these skates on my Skypoint 3.0. Some days I just can't seem to achieve good consistent aim on the Skypad whether it's because of too much that sweet sweet caffeine or just bad sleep or something else. But these seem to help with those issues. If you are someone who feels like the Skypad is too speedy and are looking to buy a more controlled glass pad, like the Pulsar Superglide to see if that suits you better, you could instead try these Obsidian Pros first to see if the new experience fits your needs. Because let's face it, a glass pad is a quite an expensive purchase to do and these are like $12 for 40 pieces. I can sadly say anything about a longevity claim that the these skates are made of lasts longer than the standard PTFE but I will get back to you about that in some point in the future but for now thanks for watching and see you on the next one goodbye